narrate a very fun, interesting and wonderful story to all of you. Yes, and the title of the story is Little Tiger, Big Tiger. Mm. And it has been taken from your book Marigold Class 3 NCERT. Yes, so before we start the story, can you tell me two words that are describing tiger in the title? So what was the title again? The title of the story was Little Tiger, Big Tiger. So there are two words which are describing tiger. Little and big. Yes, little tiger and big tiger. And these two words, little and big, are adjectives because they are describing tiger. Okay. No, today we are not talking about adjectives. Today I am going to narrate a story as I mentioned earlier. Okay. So now let's start with our fun, thrilling story which is Little Tiger and Big Tiger. There was a mother tiger and a small tiger's cub. So do you know what a tiger's cub is? So an offspring or a baby of a tiger is known as its cub. So, there were two tigers, one mama tiger and one cub. So, they lived in a big, vast forest. Okay. And when the night comes in or when it got dark, mama tiger used to go in the forest to hunt for deers and pig. So, why did she go for hunting? Because she had to feed herself and her cub. So she used to go for hunting at night. While mama tiger used to hunt, the small tiger's cub used to stay close to his mother's side. Yes, so they used to be side by side while the mother was hunting because it was too dangerous for the tiger's cub to hunt yet. Therefore, he used to stay close to his mother's side. When the langur monkey saw a tiger coming to his side, he shouted, Watch out! A tiger is coming! The samber deer bellowed, the kakar deer barked, and sometimes the game got away. Sometimes mama tiger was not able to hunt for the bigger animals like deer or pigs. So at those times, she used to go for the smaller animals like the jungle fowl, pheasant or frog. Or sometimes she went to the river to catch some fish. But she did not hunt every night. If the moon was bright, the mother tiger used to lay down and waited for the dawn. She twitched the tip of her tail and the cub, the tiger's cub, used to pounce again and again on her tail. They used to play like this. Sometimes if the tiger's cub went too far away while playing, the mother tiger used to call him with a quiet low grunt. Like this. The tiger's cub used to come running to his mother when he heard the low quiet grunt. But he did not like to stay by his mother at night. He wants to play, he wanted to go here and there, he wanted to roam around, but he did not want to he did not want to stay with his mother by her side all night. One night when the mother tiger was very tired and she was sleeping, the tiger's cub saw a small frog. The frog was hopping along the ground. The tiger cub pounced, but the frog hopped away. He chased the frog and finally he caught it. And, when, and then what did he do? He turned around to show it to his mother. You know what happened then? But she was not inside. <gasps> Where was she? The cub got scared because he was in the jungle all alone. Instead, he saw a tiger bigger than his mother and that was very near him. Oh my god, the little tiger cub must be so frightened and scared. Let's see what happens next. The big tiger's green eyes glistened as he watched the tiger cub. 
the tiger cub was frightened he was not able to hide or run away he left the frog and the frog hopped away the big tiger crept up closer to the tiger's cub as soon as the big tiger was about to reach the tiger cub a big roar filled the forest and you know who roared the mother tiger yes the mother tiger roared so loudly that the big tiger also got scared she faced the other tiger and the big tiger went away wow what strong tiger she was right so brave so strong the mother tiger liked to roar a big loud roar to tell all the animals in the jungle that she was there all the other animals in the jungle were so scared of the mother tiger that they kept far far away the tiger cub also liked to roar a loud tiger cub roar but it was not as loud as the mother tiger therefore no other animals were scared of the tiger cub hmm so the tiger cub was waiting to grow so that he could also roar as his mother after some time an year came when the small tiger cub was full grown tiger he also became a big tiger yes he walked for miles alone hunting the game at night and now when he used to roar all the animals knew that the small tiger cub has now become a big tiger and they all were scared of him so they all kept away yes they they dare not to come near the tiger and that great big tiger that had been a small tiger cub hearing his own loud roar smiled to himself a great big tiger smile wow i love this story i love the transformation of a small tiger cub into a great tiger earlier no one was scared of the little tiger cub right he used to roar loudly in his little tiger's voice but no one was scared but now when he was full grown every other animal was scared of him and therefore he smiled and was very proud of himself very nice story what do you think do you like the story do tell me in this story we got to know different names of animals right so let us recall all the names of different animals at first we heard the name tiger right tiger we heard this name in the title itself little tiger big tiger so the first animal that is mentioned in the story is tiger other than tiger there are several other animal names that are mentioned in this story that are langur monkey sambar deer kakar deer pheasant fowl frog fish and another tiger so these are some of the names of animals that are mentioned in the story all these animals are wild animals because they are present in the jungle so now you have to mention some other wild animals name make a list okay of wild animals ask your teacher parents or your friends to add on to that list we'll meet next time